Hey y'all, it's Michelle from The Scattered Scrapper. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm using this page maps um, sketch to scrap this picture of my two daughters in the snow from last year. <clears throat> and in this layout, I'm basically throwing everything except the kitchen sink on it. <laughs> it ends up being a really busy layout, but I love it. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to use this brown with a white, well, off-white polka dot on it. And it's going to be the smaller layer in the sketch. And at, I'm trying to get it into a size where you can still kind of read some of the words other than the burr on this um, um, text paper that I'm using as my background. And I wasn't exactly sure how much I needed to cut off. So that's why I ended up having to cut a whole, a whole lot of times. <laughs> but that's all right. And now for the big, <coughs> excuse me, for the, the big banner piece, I'm using a little gift bag from the Snow and Cocoa collection. And then for the smaller tag, I'm going to use this little pink paper. And basically, I'm going to be using a, just a ton of scraps that I have from my Snow and Cocoa collection. Um, the text paper and the brown with the polka dot paper are the only full sheets that I'm using Um for this layout. So everything else is um, scraps. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so here I'm figuring I want to map my photo, but I don't want to use the pink. I tried several different things, but I want the teal. And that first teal paper was a little too small. So I'm going to use this teal paper with the big snowflakes on it. I used this paper in the previous layout, I think. So I'm going to use it now to map my photo. And the, the main part of this layout comes together really, really quick. I've got my, basically my foundation. I have my background done and I have the, the two larger elements that goes underneath my photo done. And really, you could just put a title on, some journaling on, maybe a little cluster here or there, and be done. But that is not what I am going to do. <laughs> Although I could see this being a really good go-to design um, if you have one um, landscape photo like this. Because you really don't have to do very much else to it. Um, I like these, the bare bones of this one, but I'm going to just, um, do a little bit more. Today was a, definitely a more is more kind of day. So I'm going to get this, um, uh, little, um, banner down. And then I was first thinking that I was going to put my photo at a slight angle, but considering what I'm going to be doing in the background, I decided to leave everything as pretty straight as I can make it. And here I put my photo down and I forgot where I was going to put my title. So I had not left room for my title. So I pulled my picture up so I could reposition it so I would have room for my title. So I get that down and then I'm going to double check to make sure that my title will fit up there at the top. And these are some of the wood veneer from that pack. And I am so excited that I have got, I think, two, two of the, um, the words from that wood veneer pack used up. So that's exciting. So here I'm using a one and a half punch and I'm going to punch out a bunch of circles out of all my scraps. Well, not all of them, but the ones that I picked out. And I've got these, uh, the turquoise, and I have the pink, and then I have multicolored, 
And here I've got them all um, punched out and I'm just figuring out where I want to put them. And I'm just pretty much following along with the, um, the sketch. But I am... I'm using patterned paper instead of, uh, I think in the sketch, it, it looks like it has um, some embellishments on top of the circles. And um, some of these I am going to embellish, but I'm mostly using the patterned paper itself as the embellishment. So that's what makes it kind of busy. <laughs> so I'm not putting circles down over the entire page, obviously, because I've already got my picture down and my photo mats and everything. So I cut some of these circles in half so that I could tuck them so it would look like my circles go all the way across the paper. And I decided to cut another one of this paper because I did not want the snowflake paper, the teal snowflake that's in the upper right hand corner to also be in the upper left hand corner. I didn't mind so much the color being the same, but I didn't want the pattern to be the same. And then there's this one little bitty spot right here that actually ends up getting covered up in the end. So I really didn't have to put anything there, but at the time I was determined it needed to have something there. <laughs> And I went ahead and I've glued all my circles down and now I'm putting down my title and I'm just using my ATG on the wood veneer. I've not had an, an issue with the, the larger wood veneer pieces um, coming off using the ATG. And even though these are little rectangles, I'm putting them on kind of askew and I'm sorry that it's kind of off the top edge there. I, I don't know why my camera, it kind of shifts. So I never know if I'm um, going to be out of frame or not. It, it is very weird because the, the camera itself is not moving, but the, the, the picture you see shifts and you, <laughs> it's just kind of really weird. Now, here what I'm using are these really cute mason jar pockets. I, at first I thought you make your own little shaker. And I guess that's, that's what you're supposed to do with it. But they're open at the top and you would have to sew them shut if you put um, a bunch of stuff in there. And because of the way that they are made, there is not a lot of room to be putting in here. So... I actually, I'm looking at the back and there's, I'm looking at the front because I'm looking at, I'm like, is this supposed to be a shaker? But the, but it just says that it's a, a jar pocket or something. And I actually turn my camera off and I get on YouTube and look up some people who have used these embellishments so I can figure out how am I supposed to use this? So I come back from doing my research and I've decided how I kind of want to use these and I'm just going to put some of these gold sequins that comes in the pack in there and I'm just going to put a few. I'm not trying to make this a shaker pocket by any means. I just want a little bit of shimmer and glitter or shine down in here. Just for some a little bit of interest, and I'm not worried really about them falling out because, like I say, this um, I guess it's acetate is pretty tight against the the chipboard of the jar, and I pull out the string that comes with these jars, and I didn't like it because the gold, um metallic piece that's wrapped up in them um was coming undone so I'm going to end up using a, a different one that I have but before I do that I'm going through these little tags and, and little decorative pieces to see if there's anything else that I want to put on here and I pick out a snowflake and this little banner and here I, I'm wrapping it around the jar and this one 
that I have actually has silver in it instead of gold, but that's okay because when you think about, or at least when I think about snow, I think about white and silver and so it to me that just goes with the snow and I was going to put that little banner on it. it I think it says hello snow but it was too big for the look I was going for so I just set it aside and then I was thinking now how am I going to get this snowflake on here uh, because at first I just put one of these tails through it but that wasn't going to work so I put the other one through the little hole in the center and that way I could tie my bow and have the little snowflake attached to the mason jar. So, and then I'm just fiddling with it so that I can get the loops to do like I want to or like I want them to and then I just trimmed it off. <clears throat> and I just think this is so cute. And then here I'm using the little house because we were at home and I couldn't stand it. Uh, I had too much stuff around my layout. It was very distracting, <laughs> even though my background is very distracting. <laughs> so I had to clean my desk off so I could focus on what I was doing. And what I have done is all the washi tapes that I have that goes with the Snow and Cocoa collection, I pulled out the skinnier ones and now I'm using them to decorate some of my circles at first I was going to use that one on the light pink but you couldn't really see it very well it says wonderful winter so I decided to move it up to the darker pink so that you could see it and then this one has some multicolored trees on it and then the one on the bottom left is a light shimmery gold and then here's just a pink to go on top of the turquoise. <clears throat> and now I'm looking to see what else I can pile on top. So I have these gold snowflakes from the Snow and Cocoa collection. I have uh, used, I think, almost everything on this layout is from Snow and Cocoa, except for the word babies up there is actually from that sticker sheet that just flew by <laughs> I got the the letters from that sticker sheet and here what I'm doing is I'm looking for something to put in the upper left hand corner of my photo to kind of balance out the heaviness of the right bottom right corner and this large snowflake here um I thought for just a moment to use the smaller one that was next to it but I decided it was a little too small, so I'm going to use this one as a bit of a cluster base up there in that left corner. And I think that looks really cute. I just love how this layout turned out, guys. I just, I don't always do exceedingly busy layouts with lots and lots and lots of different patterns, but I, re I just think this one turned out really well. And look, I'm using more chipboard. I'm so excited to be using up the chipboard on this um, chipboard sheet. I use these words that says keep warm and snuggle up. And I love using these little birds with my girls. I think one of the things that makes this work and not be quite so crazy looking is that the color palette is pretty limited. It is the pinks and the teals and then you have the brown that's kind of more of a neutral in the background and um, there's very little other pops of color but they're not overwhelming. So I think that's the thing that kind of pulls it all together is that the color teal and the color pink is probably the most prominent other than that brown and then here I just had some studio calico word stickers that I'm putting with my little clusters here that one that I'm just putting down says a great day and that's from what is that from where did it go oh here it is oh no I'm so sorry I forgot to turn my phone on mute okay the Bella Boulevard word salad stickers. 
So that one in the upper right says a great day. The one in the bottom right says remember this. And the um, one in the top left says love this moment. And the one in the bottom left says snapshot. And I thought about putting one in that little um, pink circle um, that's in the middle on the right. But the washi tape already had words on it. So I decided against it. So now I am just sprinkling some of these little puffy stickers around. Oh, these are so cute. So I'm just using the little um, snowflakes and stars. And I've put pink with the teal. And I think there was a yellow one. And then I'm trying to think if I want to put enamel dots. And yes, I do. And I first at first thought I was going to use the pink ones. But I decided to use these white ones instead. And I thought I had picked this one off and the sticky had come off. But it was actually the the backing that it was on was coming off. So it still has it sticky. And now I'm trying to decide exactly how I want to put these on. And I do end up putting enamel dots in, in every little place that I... Um, have a cluster going and there's no I just threw out the rule the the triangle and the the grouping of threes I mean like I say it said at the beginning everything but the kitchen sink is going on this page <laughs> but I just love how it turned out anyway the here um, and I still have yet to glue everything down um, since this is older and that's been in my stash for a while. For many of the items, the sticky is just not there anymore. So <laughs> I am going to have to go back and glue a lot of these things down, even those word stickers. But that's okay. And <clears throat> I think I've done that. Yes, I have. I've got everything glued down now, except for I'm putting together my main main attraction um cluster here in, in the center and at first I thought about putting this up on some foam um especially because I have the twine wrapped around it but it's it's big enough that I can glue it down it doesn't need the foam so I've got that down and I really wish that I had taken a picture of how I had this cluster because that bird was overlapping the bottom of my um, jar there, and I forgot. When I took it off, I forgot that's where I had it, and I end up putting it here, and it's fine. It's fine. I'm fine with it, but I think it would have been just a little bit cuter if it was overlapping the jar and the house just a little bit and now what I'm doing is putting a little bit of a border on a few things on my page I felt like some of the things were kind of lost and while there is a lot of black in the um the background of the layout I really wanted to bring a little bit more touches of black around the page to the foreground so there's um the keep warm and snuggle up chipboard that's black mom the word babies is kind of a black but that's gonna do it um i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have please give it a like and maybe consider subscribing i would love to have you here and i think that'll do it we'll see you in the next video Bye-bye.